Enjoying the spoils of war, are we? Struggle must be going well. The resistance grows stronger every day. Last night we were contacted by another cell on the west side of the city. They want to join us. You trust these people? Not yet. But we cannot pass up the chance to forge an alliance. Actually, I was hoping you would look into it for me. I can see you're busy here. To reach the Western District, one must pass through security checkpoints. My face is well known to the Nazis. Veronique offered to go in my place. <laughs> I'm sure she did. But I'll go just the same. I'll need transit papers. Santos can get forged travel documents. I'm sure you can work something out. Tell Veronique I'll take a rain check on that drink. Dios mío! It's Lazarus! Back from the dead. My friends in Laura told me about your little balloon adventure. You must be part bird or part fish to be standing here talking to me now. What about me Irish luck? No one's that lucky. My friends tell me you can get forged travel papers. Ah, I see. The hero of Ilette still has you running his errands, eh? Why not pick up his laundry while you're at it? Oh, that's fucking funny. You're gonna be picking up your own teeth in about ten seconds. Tranquilo. Luke mentioned that you might be stopping by. Your papers have been prepared. Quality workmanship. Not cheap. Put it on Luke's tab. <laughs> you Irish have a brilliant sense of humor. I'm running a business here. You want to talk to me? Talk business. Oh, for fuck's sake, Santos. Just tell me what you want. Ah, that is more like it. You see, I cannot tolerate competition. Why would the crowd soldiers buy cigarettes and booze from me when they could get them cheaper from the army? Maybe you should try dressing up in a clown suit, hand out free balloons with every pack of smokes. Maybe I should hire a badass Irishman to blow up the German supply trucks. That'll work too. A German supply convoy stopped to make repairs not far from here. The trucks are, as you say, sitting ducks. I'll handle it. And you'll have those papers ready when the job's done. Claro que sí. I'll see you soon. spare fuel lying about. With a disguise and some explosives, I could light the whole place up. There's more than one way to skin a cat.
They're making a run for us. Watch for the sneaky stuff anyway. This old cram's tougher than you. Mein Mann wird dich finden und dann Gnade dir. Our yes. work is good for this soul. Your competition has been royally banjaxed. <laughs> 
Those supply trucks shan't trouble you again. All is fair in business as well as war, no? To be honest, sometimes I cannot tell the difference. I'll have those papers now. Ah, yes, uh, the papers. I'm afraid we have a very tiny problem there. It's a trivial matter. Uh, a small additional payment should cover it. What's this, bollocks? We had a deal. Yes, of course. However, the price of forged papers has gone up. I blame it on the bad economy. Too many rules, too many soldiers with guns. How do they expect an honest man to make a living in this city? I'm just about at the end of my rope, Santos. Tell me how much it'll cost to get those papers. If I don't like the number, they're gonna be fishing you out of the river with a fucking boat hook. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Just bring me the money. Then go get yourself laid, Irishman. It's not healthy walking around with all that pent-up aggression. You see, that wasn't so hard, was it? Here are your new travel papers. Just show them to the guards at the Nazi checkpoint. These had better be the real McCoy. Why would I want to get you killed, Irishman? You are my best customer! When I heard you were back, I prayed that this vendetta of yours was finished. Your eyes tell me it is not. Dierker's still breathing. So what? Would you trade your own life for his? Aye. Gladly. Then you are a fool. Only grave diggers profit from such madness. Jules is owed a debt. I'd see it paid in full. This isn't about Jules! Have you forgotten why you had to flee Ireland in the night? Have you forgotten what happened to your father? You, of all people, know the price of revenge. How much it costs the people we love. I took you into my home. Made a better life for you. You have no right to throw it away. I can't turn away now. I've made my choice. I'm sorry, Vittori. You'll have to live with that.
I'm here to deliver a message from Luke. Save your breath. I don't know you from Adam, and I won't discuss business with strangers. For all I know, you could be talking to the Gestapo. No, but I'm sure they'd love to have a chat with me. If you want to deal with us, you'll first have to prove you can be trusted. All right, then. What'll it take to convince your people that Luke and I are on the level? Excuse me, young man. Is that how you address a lady? I don't believe I caught your name. I... Uh, Sean Devlin. Begging your pardon, ma'am. And I am the Lady Margot Bonaire. I've heard of you, Irishman. Tell me, are these stories true? I suppose that depends on who's talking. The Germans are talking, Monsieur Devlin. The local authorities have taken a great interest in your activities. How would you know that? One of my people placed wiretaps on the phones at the local Gestapo headquarters. Must be a clever chap. Indeed. Josef Breuermann is one of our most valuable agents. Last night he was arrested. I fear he will not hold out long under questioning. He is not a brave man. What if I were to make other arrangements for this man, Bryman? Would that settle your doubts as to me and my friends? Yes, but it won't be easy. Bryman is being held under close watch. You may need to create a distraction, a explosives perhaps. Aye, or a disguise. Yes, in the right uniform you could walk yourself right out of the detention. But if the guards suspect an escape, they will kill you both. Don't you worry, ma'am. I'll bring your boy home in one piece. Maybe a new car, yes. Gotcha, didn't I? Ein kühles Haar, Sie sind Deutsche Lesen. Was Waffe fallen lassen! 
lassen. Bis zum Tod. Ich schicke das Schwein ins Land. That's it. Time to waste then. Keep in mind, these lads are on the watch. There's our man now. Marco sent me. Stay close and keep your head down.
Der Ihre! Sperrt ihr dies! Gehen Sie woanders lang! you doing working against his own side? They are not my side. And the Nazis, the blood running through my veins is a death sentence. How did you get into this game? I was studied as a radio engineer at Heidelberg. My family fled and the Nazis seized power. I ended up here. And so you joined the French resistance? It seems the only sensible thing to do. Sensible? <laughs> That's rich. We are men without countries, you and I. But... Not men without souls, sir. Yeah? Irishman? If you say so. Mr. Devlon, how good of you to come. What can I do for you, Madam Bonner? You are a young man, Mr. Devlon, and I am a very old woman, so let me tell you something of the ways of the world. I'm listening. Wars are not fought with bullets and bombs alone, Mr. Devlon. In order to destroy a society, one must first destroy its culture. Art and literature can become powerful weapons in such a battle. The Germans understand this truth better than anyone. Uh... I'm not sure I follow. Before the invasion, I worked as an art restorer at the Louvre. I have watched in horror as the Nazis plunder our national treasures and defile our cultural heritage right under our very noses. People are getting killed out there, Mom. What's so damned important about a bunch of paintings? Ah, oh, don't play the fool, Devlin. Art culture is the soul of the French people. Without it, this nation will not survive. What do you want me to do about this? A Nazi general by the name of Loder has organized a series of book burnings in Paris. Thousands of rare and priceless volumes have already been destroyed. I want you to put an end to this atrocity. <laughs> Perhaps I'll compose a nasty poem in the general's honor. A bullet in the head will suffice. General Loder deserves no less, I assure you. Good day, Mr. Devlin.
for you. Right. Thanks. Something terrible has happened. We cannot allow this latest atrocity to go unavenged. Meet me at the Cologne Vendôme. Look. Excuse me. Who are they? Friends. Renard and his men. They disappeared two days ago. This morning we found them here. What happened? They were preparing for a mission. Renard was caught with a pocket full of detonators. He was a hard man. But he broke under torture and gave the others up. That clown butcher skinned him like an animal. What did you say? The Nazis knew chief of public security, an SS colonel. Before the war he was some kind of race car driver. Jerker. Yes, that's him. This is his message to the Resistance. What was Renard's target? The siege gun at the Lycée Theater. It's a symbol of Nazi power in this part of the city. The sound it makes is deafening. Every time it fires, the people of Paris lose hope. Then we'll give him something to cheer about. I thought you might feel that way. Speak to Bryman.
illegaler Volksempfänger ist untersagt. My mistake. We need to talk Irish. One soldier to another. Come find me. Le Crochet. A man by the name of Horst is organizing an underground street race in the city. I thought you might be interested. Skylar. Devlin, it's so good to see you, my friend. Likewise. What's the score? The Nazis have located one of our safe houses in the countryside, a place where we hide the women and children from the Gestapo. They are dialing the house's coordinates into the siege gun. Can you warn them? Nine. There isn't time. Then we'll have to do the job quick. Take these. You're going to need a powerful explosive charge to destroy the gun. Achtung! Achtung! Einsatzbereitschaftsprotokoll ist aktiviert. Zehn Minuten bis zum Abschuss. Beginn Flugbahnjustierung. What the? I need to slot that technician before he pulls the trigger. Handed papers are mandatory at all checkpoints. Failure to present proper documentation. Neun 
Minuten bis zum Abschuss. I need to slot that technician before he pulls the trigger. Yeah, some of them. Oh. Le commandant Dirker rappelle aux citoyens d'économiser le fuel domestique. Une maison froide sauve des vies allemandes. Bring it on. Chew you up, I will. myself a little time. Oh, there you are, you big bitch.
what I'm looking for. <laughs> That was easy. I've seen you at the bed. 